add the link to the chords down below. So um, give me like 10 seconds to do that if you're watching live. If you're watching the replay, then it's already up there. Um, here I'm getting the chords. Please let me know where in the world you're watching from and let me know which ukulele you are playing. I'm always so curious to hear about your instruments and uh, where in the world you're watching from, what time it is over there. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Thank you. So I've been sharing a little bit more about our life with um, the Patreon fam. And I just uploaded a video over there. And then I had to get ready to hair and makeup really quick. So thank you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We had no idea what to expect uh, because they told us that he would hear back Monday and he didn't hear back. And so he emailed them and was like, hey, remember me? <laughs> and uh, they said, we'll call you tomorrow. So there was like no offer. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see. Uh, okay, the song she is not the song sheet because I haven't made the song sheet yet, but the chords are in the description now. Okay, so for today we will need chords A minor, friends, awesome. G, C, and F. I feel like this one's a little bit out of tune. Latvia, wow, thank you. Malaysia, oh, it's late over there. I loved, there was an island in Malaysia that I really loved. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It has a really different name. Langkawi, I believe. I loved visiting Langkawi, it was beautiful. Kuwait, soprano fender. Selly, Brazil, hi, awesome. There we go. So we will not need chords A minor, C, G, and F. The intro is just A minor. I'm doing this strumming pattern. And uh, down, tick up, up, tick up, down, tick up, up, tick up, down, tick up, up, tick up, down, tick up, 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 up,
that's your entire um, your entire uh, verse and the intro. A minor and G, A minor and G. Uh, one of my favorite songs, glad I caught the live stream. Yeah, when the band was here last night, uh, we practiced it. So it's something that we will play as a band with my, my drummer, the drum set is right there, the, my drummer and saxophone player. So actually I have a favor to ask of you um, because we get questions about his drum setup because it's not a typical drum set. And I asked Jonathan to uh, make a video with me. Jonathan's the drummer explaining his setup and he did really well on the filming. I thought I was gonna have to engage with him some more, but he came ready. So when that video comes out, would you please watch it and um, leave some encouraging comments? Cause I, a lot of you have posted your first video like from Instagram and YouTube and you know what it feels like to put it out there and like not know what people are gonna say or how they're gonna respond. So let's be supportive cause I know it will mean a lot to him too. Okay, so the chorus, um, you have C, G, A minor, G, and then C, G, A minor, F. So the first part is C, G, A minor, G. The next part is C, G, thank you, A minor, F. They're all still getting four beats, so. yesterday when the band was here we were talking about how latin families especially mexican families they don't call people by their names they call people by their the nicknames and very often it's a nickname that's known in the house but the person receiving the nickname doesn't know that that's their nickname so um jaime was talking about somebody with like who smiles like this and so in Spanish, he was calling her like, um, broke, like he, in Spanish, he said broken smile. And so right now, <laughs> when it said, look at the girl with the broken smile, I remembered like, oh, this is the girl we were talking about last night. Does that happen in your family? Do you have nicknames for people and they don't know that it's their nicknames? Um, I'm trying to think of nicknames that we have for people, but I don't think I, I don't think I do that. But my dad does that. Like whenever I dated someone, he would call them a name and he never wanted that person to know the name. So like when I was, uh, when I was dating a Lebanese Muslim guy, he, he called them, what was it? Oh my goodness. I don't, El Musulman, the Muslim. I don't, I don't remember what he called them. I don't think that one was bad. Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember the names. I can't. But it was always like, oh, the short one. Oh, the skinny one. Oh, the the old one. Oh, the lonely one. Like, there's always a name. I have nicknames for my colleagues. Do they know about the nicknames, though? Okay, so let's go to the, um, the chorus. C, G, A minor, G. One. Two, it's embarrassing, right? Two, red, go. I don't mind spending every day out in the corner in the pouring rain for the crowd with a broken smile. That's good if she wants to stay a while. And she will be loved. And she will So um, then we watched a TikTok by this guy named Jonathan, who, um, not our drummer Jonathan, our, uh, the TikToker Jonathan, and he was imitating his mom. And he was like, oh yeah, did you talk to like, did you hear that like the penguin's daughter is getting married? Yeah, she's getting married to like the skeleton's son. And like, it was just like that. Like, that's exactly how Latin families are. So Sayara, you're saying that you have nicknames for your coworkers that they don't know about? What are the nicknames? We want to hear. Okay, here we go. Let's do the um, 
verse and the chorus. A minor G forever. One, two, A minor, one, two, ready, go. Now let's go to verse two. Now we're going back to A minor and G. A minor and G. Okay? Verse two. One, two. A oh, one, two. You can do it. Go. If you're able to uh, play that so far, if you're enjoying this lesson, the like button helps promote the video and get more people watching. Cheers to you all watching from home or work or your car or a restaurant or a friend's house, wherever you are in the world, I'm sending you hugs and love. Okay, so now we have a bridge. Bridge. I know where you are, alone in your car There's no other things to make you are This is like a verse, it's like a verse or the intro I know where you are, alone in your car They're like that um, Chica Linda, I'm, I'm curious whether you like playing guitar more or ukulele um, Right now, I reach for my guitar more the dry spell. Okay, so let's see. So Yara's nicknames for her coworkers that her coworkers don't know about. The generator, Bob the Builder, the Sweet Angel, Moja, Neck Necklace. Oh, I thought it was, it was neck face. Peach Man, or is it Booty Man? The dry spell. It's never ending. Ooh, so Yara, I have a feeling you have a nickname for some of the people in here. Sadiq, hello. Anthony Sadiq. Let's do that bridge. A minor and G. One, two. Oh, one, two. Hiccups go. I want to hear Pauline. 
balancing this. Okay, now there's a break. One, two, the break. One, two, ready, go. Wanna make you feel beautiful. Let's try that again. Uh, but let's try it with a break going straight into the chorus. I'll call I'll count us into the chorus. One, two, the break. One, two, ready, go. Tap on my window, knock on my door. I wanna make you feel strong once and fall. Three, four. I don't mind spending every day. So let's do that again. Let's do only one strum on the word beautiful. Beautiful. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, A minor, go. Tap on my window, knock on my door. I wanna make you feel beautiful. Two, three, four. I don't mind spending every day. Out on the corner in the pouring rain. For the girl with a broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay. She will be loved. I'll try to do a little bit more of a longer play along right now. I just uh, Mia, Josely, Francis, 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 Edna, comprende para las explicaciones más. Yo soy de su. Okay, well, can somebody translate? Okay, so you're saying you're from France and you don't understand the explications. The um, you don't or you do understand the lessons. I'm guessing you don't. I'm sorry, but hi. Aprendes inglés. Okay. Aprendes, aprends sounds a lot like aprender in Spanish, which means to learn. And status hub, hi. Thank you, Drisha. Appreciate it. Hi, David. So let's try the beginning, the very top of the song. I'm going to use more hand signals to try and catch my English learners. Let's go from the very top where we have A minor and G. A minor, G. La menor, Sol. La menor, Sol. La menor, Sol. Picking that I use. Angie, it's G E A and C. G E A C. Thank you, Florence. I was hoping you were here. <laughs> okay, La Menor and Sol. Let's do the intro. The intro and the first verses. Intro and the first verses. Okay. One, two, undo, toi, cat. This is intro. La Menor.
la Chorus, two, three, four. Go to your 12th fret on the A string. <laughs> That's a high C. Thank you, Irini. I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at singing so that I can be better at teaching. All right, so that concludes today's song. Usually we have more complicated song, but I think it's kind of fun to have something easy and straightforward. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Let's take a cheers to Karen, reminding everyone to hit the like button. So how do you feel about this song? Are you feeling pretty confident? Is there any area that needs um, visiting or review? Let me know. If you want me to review an area, I can do it. I'm more than happy to do so. By the way, if you ordered the Musician's Tripod from my Etsy store, they were on back order because they sold out within the first hour and I ordered more and those sold out. So now I got a box of 50 and 25 of those are sold. So if you ordered yours, it's gonna be shipped out. And if you haven't ordered yours, know that I have 25 in stock right now. Actually, let me change the, the listing to show that I have more than, okay, so I'm gonna change it right now. I'm gonna put that I have 20 because I wanna hang on to a few. I had, I had even sent someone mine because they wanted them so fast. So um, I had only used mine once too. So if you ordered one, it's coming. Uh, so the Musician's Tripod, basically what it is, it's a, uh, it clamps onto your headstock and it holds your phone. So you can use it to record yourself at a really good, cool angle, but here's another really awesome use for it. You can have your sheet music on your phone right here and you can be watching as you're playing. How cool is that? Like you can have your sheet music, you can put it horizontally or vertically. Let me ask Kaima to bring me one so I can show it. Obviously your packaging will be much more beautiful because I'm all about the packaging and everyone who orders also gets a ukulele sticker because I'm all about the extras. I know I can put like thank you cards in there, but I prefer to, prefer to give you stickers. So you have two parts, this really heavy duty clamp. It's not easy to open. Um, and then you have, I'm going to open this one and this is the one I'll keep for me, but you will get to open yours freshly. Um, and then, um, this has the ball joint. So you unscrew it here, just not remove the screw, just loosen it so that you can move the ball joint. And then you can put it on the back or the way I like to do it. I like to put it on the bottom like this. And then you clamp it onto your instrument. And then you choose the angle that you want, whether you want it to be uh, horizontal, like this position would hold it horizontally, or if you want it vertically, you can do it this way. This would hold it vertically, or you can switch it to the upside like this. So this would hold your phone vertically. So it's up to you because it's a ball joint. You can aim it any way you want. So your phone would be right here. You can put music there 
Or let's say that you're gonna perform on stage or something like that and you have your music stand. I don't have a music stand, but let's pretend that this is my music stand and you wanna put your music on your phone. You can clamp it onto a music stand and have your music there. And so let's say this is your music stand and you wanna have your phone, you wanna be able to tune, you wanna record yourself while you're playing a performance or you wanna live stream it, you have it there. So um, yes, this is the Musician's Tripod and I have them on my Etsy store. My Etsy store is called Euclandia and uh, I have 20 in stock. I'm gonna order more because they're a really nice device. Um, my normal tripod, let me show you, that I'm using right now is enormous. It's huge. Um, it's kind of messy behind me. Like it's right here and it's just really long. It, it does collapse, but when it collapses, it's about the size of a ukulele. So it's not the easiest thing to carry around. But something like this, I can throw in my tote bag. And I can, I don't have to worry about the size of it. It's so small and easy. And you can collapse it to be um, like, so it's not popping out like this. This is how it folds down to. Like, are you kidding me? Like, and you can uh, tighten it so it stays in that position. But that's, that's so small, right? Like, this is a whole tripod right here. Record yourself or put your music or record someone else. Record a lesson. Um, the possibilities are really endless there. And let's say that you're, I don't know, wanting to record like your drums or something. You can clamp it onto part of the drum set too and you can record what you're doing so let me find a cool spot for it there we go and you can put your phone there i wonder if this is too thin but i'm gonna try it this might be too thin maybe yeah this is too thin I mean, we can put it on the hi-hat, but that's too thin. So yeah, I think if you have something thick like this, this is ideal, right there. That's perfect. So you can record, oh, that would be so cool, right there, recording the drums, snare. Anyway, you can put it anywhere you want. So I have 20 left from the 50 I just ordered and got them yesterday. So they're selling fast. Um, and yeah, the shop has other things, but if you if you if there's something that you like that it's not there, let me know. I'm in the process of ordering some fun ukulele accessories and some more straps. Um, yeah, I ordered the straps already, some new straps that are coming in. And um, let me show you what I have in the straps. Let me see if they're here. Yeah, I think I have one left of these. This one's mine, but, oh, I love it. Cause when I went to like, when I go to ukulele events, I'm always frustrated to see that like all the straps are Hawaiian style. And it's like, I know that ukulele is a Hawaiian instrument, but I like other things, you know, like I, I don't just want Hawaiian style. Like I love Hawaiian style. I love hibiscus and it. I love that. But there's other things I like too. Like guitarists have so much selection with their straps. Like why don't ukulele artists do? So um, this is, I think I have one left. Yeah, there's one in stock left. That's still in, in brand new. This one Kit Kat put all her hairs all over. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but this one's mine. I want a daisy chain strap. Might have to make it myself. Daisy chain, huh? And then we have earrings left too. The musical earrings. Which you, you friend do you recommend? Uh, which you friend do you all recommend? I can tell you about the ones I have here. Um, I have this Ohana for sale too. I haven't listed it on Etsy yet. Um, Ohana is a really great brand, this one. Love their ukes. I haven't met an Ohana I didn't like. 
Kala is like the established brand of ukuleles. Like they're the who's who of ukulele. So Kala is amazing. Um, I love playing Enya ukulele. I'm trying to reach for mine. The Enya ukulele. This one is the best thing you can get for travel, for cleaning it, for not being worried about humidity expanding or heat drying out the instrument. This is the winner. This is the Enya Nova. Um, if you want mahogany, but you don't want to pay the high price, Enya has the mahogany um, EUS 25D. If you want a ukulele with more strings, Ohana has an eight string. And then, um, if you want something more high end, um, Anua Nua. This is an African mahogany. Um, it's not as expensive as like a Kamaka, a Kanilea, but it is really high quality, beautiful sounding, floorboard carbon strings. Stefan loves uh, flight. Oh, do I have Lanakai? I don't. Oh, actually, the bass that's right there, that's a Lanakai bass. That's a beautiful bass. But Lanakai makes other instruments. Um, yeah, so you can't go wrong with some of those brands. And then this one that's standing up right here, that's a fluke. And then. Yeah, the other ones that I have over there are guitars. Cordoba also has ukuleles, but I haven't loved their recent ukuleles. Um, Kala has, Kala, that's a Kala's over there. And then Anui Nui is on the wall. That's like, you're getting a preview because I'm gonna show that on Instagram today. So yeah, you have lots of great brands. Oh, I didn't show you the best Enya. Um, the MS is the, they're like top selling Enya. Um, it's mahogany and it's under a hundred dollars the last time I checked. I love the glossy ones, but I hate how easily they scratch. I love the glossy ones too, but in video they just pick up the lights, so I tend not to use them too much. And then I had an Ohana extra one of these, but this oh it sold to Angie who's here. And then, yeah, that's the secret guitar. Um, so I can get another one if I get a request for one. So they sent me this one and this one's mine because um, I wanted a performing uke, like to be on stage with something that looked really cool. And I wanted some, I'm, I'm kind of uh, showy in the things I have. Like I like, maybe I'll wear neutral color. Some, I'm trying to wear more color, but I want the ukulele to be like, whoa, what is that? So I thought that this was a showstopper. Like it's just so cool and different and unique. But they said um, the one we have uh, for you, the, the bottom broke here. I don't know if you can see there's a big crack. You can see it in person. It's like, oh yeah, right there. You see there's a big crack that goes throughout the whole thing. And they said, if we try to fix it, we might cause more damage that's all we have. And I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. So. <laughs> Sounds so good. I love this one. This is an Ohana. So yeah, maybe I should do another ukulele collection video and share all the ukes that I have because this was fun. Would you like to see that? Like basically what I did now, but a little bit more organized and sound demos of everything. Let me know if you're interested. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me know if what you're interested in. I see a yes from Sayara. How did I know Sayara was going to be the first one? I love uke collection bits. Alrighty, cool. So, um, I'm going to go live on Instagram right now and do this, the she will, you, she will be loved. So if you would like to join me, come over there. Is it like to go live on Insta for the Insta fam? <laughs> Meow. Um, 
yeah i try not to i i feel like for a while i was like unsure of how to go live on instagram and like do people even play along i feel like instagram people just pop in for like a minute and then they leave but i've been trying to get over my nervousness about it and going live over there so if you would like to join my username is plazi p-l-a-z-i i don't need another uke i don't need another uke cherry <laughs> Jerry, I'm so excited about the news you gave me. Um, by the way, um, Ohana carries these Shaker Leles. They're a really nice Daniel Ho shaker. I don't know if I should add them to the store or not. I have this one because Danny uh, just grabbed it at Nam Show and like walked away with it. And I asked Ohana to put it on my tab from like the ukes that I buy from them for my shop. Let me know in the DMs on Instagram if you're interested in a shaker lele, like adding that as a bit. It sounds more warm than a typical shaker. I'm guessing that's the wood choices that they have and the fact that it's wood. So yeah, let me know if you're interested and um, I'll check in the invoice what price they are. And it costs minimum 125. Can you do giveaway, please? I'll ask any if we can do a giveaway. Yeah, I can ask. But the problem is I can't send to India. I've sent to I've sent packages to India and things get lost over there. So I'm really sorry. Like Indian uh squad, I don't know if there's a way to transfer money to you instead and you can order your own uke. Because I've sent packages over there to a friend who works in the postal service, by the way, and it never made it, the packages never made it to him. So I'd be scared of sending a uke and then not knowing where in the world it ends up. Same thing with Philippines, I think. I think Philippines has gotten better though. Um, I have a ukulele, but I'm autistic and I'm not good at playing my ukulele. So, with um i've worked with students who have autism before with ukulele and yes it takes longer to learn some things some things with my autistic uh students have been faster like they just get it and some other things are like whoa i need that explained 50 different ways until we find the way that makes sense to them so if you have autism and you're finding that it's creating a challenge for you to play, I think start with a song that you really, really, really enjoy that maybe is easy or start with just part of it. You know, like the song we did today, the verse is just A minor and G. Learn just that. And then uh, one of my students who um, has autism, who started off, I want to say five years ago, is now performing on stage. So there is definitely opportunities for anyone to be playing. The more time you spend with the instrument, the better you will get. So if you glue that instrument to your hand, metaphorically speaking, you will be just fine. And you will be playing really cool songs soon. Alrighty fam, so let's meet on the gram if you're coming. Um, let's let's hang out over there and review the song. Let me see, should I get more light? Maybe. Yeah, so I'll see you over there in like five minutes. I'm gonna take the picture for the thumbnail just to have it ready. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, keep watching the tutorials, okay? And maybe it's better if you watch the first time and the second time uh, play with your ukulele. I think that will help you too. But keep playing. Never stop, okay? Always keep going. Alrighty, fam. I'll see you on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!